Hey guys, I'm Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, what is the most common GI parasite that I see in the veterinary world? As a veterinarian, a lot of my friends are like, Dan, so what worms do you see most often? It's kind of a weird question, but unlike humans, I, dogs and cats explore their world with their mouth, and a lot of worms are spread fecal oral. So a dog poops in your yard, and your dog goes over and licks it and smells it, if they clean it up really well, you can have microscopic eggs just sitting there waiting to be ingested. So the most common worms that I see, guys, number one is going to be the roundworm. The roundworm, Toxicarus canis, is the most common one I see. The roundworm, if your dog poops it out, it looks like chow mein. It looks like chow mein. Whenever someone calls and they're like, damn, my dog has worms, I say, what does it look like? And they give a very poor description of what it looks like. Then I tell them, is it chow mein? And if it's chow mein, it's probably a roundworm. The way we confirm this is they can show it to me, of course, in a picture. Uh, but I like them to also bring a poop sample into a fecal. A fecal, guys, is when we spin it down, put it in a sugar solution, and all the eggs float to the top, and then I get to see what's in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful life as a veterinarian, running poops all day and looking for parasites. Now, guys, there's a whole handful of dewormers you can pick for for roundworms. Parental is a great first option. Now, most of you dewormers, I have a video on it, you want to check it out? It's a great video about, about dewormers you can pick up at like tractor supply. But dewormers, guys, are one of those things where <sighs> pyrantal is almost always included in all of them because it's such an easy thing to add into your dewormer. So, pyrantal is an easy one, but pyrantal is one of the most common medications we will use for roundworms. Roundworms are really easy to get rid of. Now, the one thing I want you to remember is please remember this. I'm going to go two now. Two things I want you to remember. One, one is you should always get your fecal rechecked. Just because you're not seeing chow mein come out anymore, this means not, there's nothing in there still, right? Because like, if a worm's doing its job, it's going to be in the intestinal tract. It's not going to be on the grass in the poop, right? So if if you believe that your doggy is clean, you should always do a fecal exam with your veterinarian three weeks after at least to see if the worms have been cleared. And if there's no eggs in there, you can be confident that your doggy's clean. The other thing is, is if your dog has worms, please, ugh, please don't walk it around in people's yards. It's just super rude. If you know your dog has worms and it's it could be spreading microscopic parasites, don't walk in people's yards. If you're like, I did, I cleaned the poop up. Doesn't matter. In my opinion, if you're grabbing that poop bag and you're scooping that poop up and you're leaving all that residue on the, on the leaves and the dog walks over and smells it and licks it, they're getting parasites, guys. You should not walk your dog in public. Keep it with other people's dogs, if at all possible. I get it. We have apartment livers that watch this show. That's great. So go the path least travel. Just keep it with other dogs. That way, guys, aren't spreading it because it's a real head for people to get rid of. Now, if you're on a harm preventative, good for you because harm preventatives do a great job of preventing roundworms. So the good chance your dog won't even get it. So keep that in mind. With that all being said, roundworms are the most common worms I see. Of course, I see all of them. Whips hooks, tapes, coccidia, giardia. I mean, I'm throwing those in, but they don't, they're not really worms, but they're still GI parasites. These are all common things that we see in the veterinary world, and these are common things that we deworm against. If I get a dog with diarrhea, I'm always checking for worms, especially if I've done it in a while. As always, guys, I hope your doggies, kitties, and you are happy and healthy. You just have a great week. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And make sure you always get your doggies dewormed and fecals checked on a regular basis. Take care. Bye.